Hi everyone, my name is Mike Mello. I'm a broker associate at Preferred Real Estate Brokers. Today we're in Winter Garden showing you a bunch of different homes here in this community. It's only 10 minutes away from Disney World. So we're gonna show you this home behind me. This home behind me is the largest model home they have. It's 4,008 square feet of living and that gives you five bedrooms, four and a half baths with an office and also a loft. The base price at time of shooting is gonna be $593,990. Now today is June 2nd, 2021 and the prices will most likely change. So if you're interested in seeing what the latest prices of it, uh, make sure you contact us. All the contact information will be below. So before we go inside and take a tour of this home, I'll talk to you a little bit about the outside of this home. Over here to my right or to the left of the camera is gonna be a two car garage. Now currently they have a bunch of landscaping, which is normal on model homes. They make them nice and put a whole bunch of uh, landscaping in, but they will remove that landscaping and put in a driveway before it actually gets sold. We have some really nice elevations and different colors up on the second floor and of course, we have this nice front patio area uh, with a couple of little rockers out here where you can enjoy the nice Florida weather and also see your neighbors go by on the sidewalk where our videographer Sandy is sitting, uh, standing right now. So let's go ahead and go inside and show you the rest of this home. And we come by this beautiful door with this nice glass insert and we go inside and show you the rest. Hey everyone. Welcome to this home. This is an absolutely beautiful home. I just did a walk on it myself and I actually like this home. I think it's a beautiful home. So as we come in here, the first thing I notice is that we're gonna have some upgraded flooring. This is actually ceramic tile looking wood floors. You can tell that because you do see the grout line still, uh, but this, this whole home has these browns throughout it. Uh, of course, and with the white walls, that makes it all pop. So over here to your left would be a bedroom suite. So this would be bedroom number two. So it's a nice size bedroom suite, as you can see, plenty of space. And then we also have our own full bathroom here. And as we go into the bathroom, we do go onto the ceramic tile. And then we have this shower. I do like this frame shower with this like antique bronze black look. And then the tile that goes all the way up to the ceiling. We do have a window behind me for natural light. And of course we have our sink area with some nice cabinets here as well. Now over here is the um, walk-in closet. So we have plenty of space for all your clothes. And that is this bedroom suite. So come ahead and follow me and let's continue the tour of this home. We come through here and this mirror is really cool. Um, it's a mirror, but not, but it has like little things where the mirror goes out and looks like the walls coming through it. So I've not seen that type of design before. I thought that was really neat. And we come here, here is a French doors coming into an office. So plenty of space here for your office. You can have a desk here, you have it in the corner, however you like to design it. And they have these really neat men in rectangle decor here. So we have a whole bunch of different men in rectangles. So the things that actually look pretty cool when you actually use as the core. Um, and then let's go ahead and continue down this way. Now, as we come here, we'll stop here and we'll go into the laundry room, which is also the entrance in from the garage. We have lots of upgrades here, all of this cabinetry. One of the things I did like here also was this area, this, this actual woodworking as a back, like your backboard here, um, instead of the regular wall. And of course this door goes through to the garage. So you have a two car garage with two separate garage doors. So you can open one at a time, but definitely like the countertops here and the cabinets, definitely a nice little laundry room or entrance to the house. On the other side is what I call the Harry Potter room. And this one is a huge Harry Potter room. It's under the stairs and it goes all the way around. As you can see, you go down and not only does it go this direction where you go here, but it just continues to keep on going and going and going and going. So that's pretty neat. Um, plenty of space for all your seasonal storage or you know whatever you want to do, dog room, whatever you do. We, we use ours for, ours is a little bit bigger and we use it for our puppies to sleep at at night. So we have the stairs here going upstairs. We'll show you the upstairs area later, but here is the kitchen. And as you see, the browns continue. If you like browns, this is a great little design for you. If you don't like browns, you can pick your own colors and you can keep the same house and get white cabinets or gray cabinets or whatever color cabinets you want. But here is the kitchen. It's a nice size kitchen. We have air refrigerator here. And then of course, these beautiful countertops, these gray backsplash that goes all the way up. And of course the stove top with the GE profile air vent that vents things all the way out. And of course we have on either side, we have cabinets and we also have the display cabinets for all your fine china or your wine glasses or whatever you may like to put there to show everyone else. 
Um, we do have our sink here with the two little areas and dishwasher. And then all the way around, including on the sides, we do have little sitting areas. It's currently set up for a sitting area of four, but you actually have six chairs here. And then these really neat little uh, chandelier lights. I have very similar ones, but a little bit bigger in our dining room and also our breakfast nook. Now the pantry is gonna be right over in this direction. So I open it up and as you can see, it goes back quite a bit. So you have plenty of space for all your storage and it's behind French doors. So a little bit different design than some of the other pantries I've seen. I sort of like this. You just open it and close it right there and all your dry goods are there. So it opens up to this eight piece dining room set. It has this little chandelier. Of course, we have our window looking out and then the walls, they did this little, nice little woodworking design on the walls so it gives it a little bit more uh, homely feel as you look through. So that's the kitchen, that's the dining room. Here is the family room. The family room is a very spacious family room. We have our TV area, and then above us is a tray ceiling with these nice exposed beams that I absolutely do love. Um, we have those at our house, and it just makes it feel nice when we get home and sit down and enjoy. It just makes it feel a little more significant on as far as the home goes. Now, we do have our sliders. Sliders go out to a patio. They did have a pool on this. Of course, the base price does not include the pool. If you're wondering, uh, that would be all extra, all upgrades. But this is a really nice lot that has a really nice water view over here. And you can see it actually goes down a little bit and the water's down quite a bit from the actual um, elevation of the home here. So, and you can see all the homes around getting all that nice view as well. So follow me this direction. And we do have a separate door going out to the pool, which is nice because we do have a half bathroom here. So let me go over here to help out our camera. Lady Sandy, because she doesn't like being on the mirrors, but we do have the toilet and also a pedestal sink right here. And then we do have the primary bedroom. So follow me to the primary bedroom and nice spacious primary bedroom. We have tray ceilings above us with some nice woodworking, different colors in the ceilings with the grays and the whites. Uh, that makes it look pretty cool. These end tables are sort of just like fabric end tables. Oof. Well, look at that, not much. I think I would probably have something here with a drawer on there because I do like to have like my keys and stuff over on my end table. So anyway, over this direction is gonna be the primary bathroom, which is a nice spacious bathroom. It has an actual TV in here. I'll show you that in a second. But we do have one sink area here, of course, with the mirror and the nice vanity lights. Um, this door right here goes into the water closet. And then on the other side, we do have another vanity and of course the drawers. These are upgraded cabinets with a soft close. And then on the other side, we have our shower, which is the frameless shower, nice thick glass with nice tile on the ground and also tile going all the way up. But hey, I was telling you about the, well, I'll tell you about the TV in a minute. First of all, I'm gonna show you this, which is the closet. I nearly tripped over that. I was glad I looked back at it for a second. But this closet is as big as, bigger than my bedroom when I was growing up. It's huge, a huge closet. If, if you need a bigger closet than this, then we need to talk because you probably have too many clothes. Um, some of you may, and that's fine. We'll make another bedroom for you to make into a closet. But this is a significantly large closet. Um, of course, you can also change these wire shelves to actual like a California closet and have way, way more storage and may way more useful space here as well if you so desire. But hey, I was gonna tell you about the TV and the tub. I didn't tell you about the tub, but I told you about the TV. So we have this great Props America TV. It's sort of, it's a, it, it's a fake TV, but you can have a TV there. You can sit in the tub. You can enjoy your champagne. It's only got one glass. One glass? Don't you, shouldn't you have two glasses for champagne? Anyway, so that's that. So come ahead and follow me. We're gonna go check out the second story of this home. And as we go over there, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about our Mellow Group. Make sure you like and follow our channel here on YouTube. And also, if you're interested in luxury homes, check out our link below. We'll have a link in the description of this video to our luxury home channel. We do one luxury home a week all throughout the state of Florida. We don't just stay in Orlando or Central Florida. We go all over the place. So let's go ahead and go upstairs and show you the rest of this home. Are you filming? 
<laughs> oh, so, sorry everyone, I was just enjoying myself playing a little bit of table tennis or ping pong, whatever you want to call it up here. So the actual stairs come out over here, so we scan the camera up. That's where the stairs come up, but this has got like a really cool area. I love this, I, I love fun stuff, and this has got a lot of fun stuff. We have a whole table tennis area here, so you can, boom, see I just got a point. Um, and then we have the shelving sort of splitting the different areas up and we have these little seats here that probably for like a PlayStation games, you can, so this, this will be like a kid's, kid's dream, this area up here. And of course you can make it into whatever sort of thing you want, but right now this is really neat. And then we come through these French doors and look at this, we have a theater, a theater upstairs. So um, really neat, we have the actual uh, TV here and we have a little sitting area here. And then we have these posters, which are pretty cool, we have, Avengers Infinity War, I did see that one. Um, has, looks like it has a lot of light bulbs out, right? So I don't know if they're only supposed to be two light bulbs on or all light bulbs on, but hey, um, a pretty neat thing either way. And then we have Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I'm not too sure if I've seen that one. I know my daughters would probably have seen that one. I'm not too sure if I have or not. And then they have this cool little artwork with the countdown to action. So come on ahead and follow me. And uh, we'll talk about this area again really quick as well. The ceilings, if you haven't seen the ceilings, check out these wood beams, they're crisscrossed like, like X's. Um, and then we do have the in-ceiling speakers, all upgrades. Those wood beams probably will not even be able to be done by the builder, but you can do them after the fact. So follow me here. Check out this, we have gold strands in the actual frame. That must be a very, very expensive piece of artwork, huh? So we have another bedroom. Here's a bedroom we have. This one's got some sort of like, looks like out of focus flowers on the wall. So, and uh, lots of gray. It's a pretty cool look, look, um, especially if you're into the flowery things. And then we do have a pink closet. So pink closet and you do have some natural light coming in, but plenty of space here, nice little suite. And then on the other side, you actually have your own bathroom. So this is a nice little ensuite upstairs for whoever gets lucky enough to get this, but we have our sink behind me, toilet, and of course, we have the tub slash shower with the ceramic tile and of course the window up there that gives you some natural light. So, all right, so let's go ahead and see what else is up here. And we go this direction and we have, look, we didn't come up here originally, so I forgot to put the lights on. So we have a full bathroom here uh, with the one sink. I'm sure you can put dual sinks here if you wanted dual sinks. And then of course, in this area, we have a separate door and we have a toilet and then of course the tub shower ceramic tile all the way up to the ceiling here so we still got more bedrooms to check out so let's go ahead and go this direction we have another bedroom here i'm, I'm losing count of how many bedrooms i think this is like four bedroom four this one's cool this one's all about airplanes i went to school to fly airplanes i've been flying airplanes since i was like 13 years old so i love airplanes looks like a dc3 there on the wall um and plenty of space here uh, for a bedroom and then we do have a walk-in closet here. This one does share that bathroom that we we're just in But it has a very similar walk-in closet to the one that we just saw that was pink So let's go ahead and look at bedroom number five. That would be this direction. So follow me over here and One thing I didn't talk about earlier is that these actual floors are engineered hardwood But the the darker color engineered hardwood were down below was the actual ceramic tile. So that's pretty neat, too Here is the baseball room also Nice space. Um, we have our baseball bats on the wall and also a couple balls. This one's got signatures on it. I wonder if that's like Mickey Mouse, Babe Ruth or something like that. I wonder if that's worth a lot of money just sitting there or is it just probably just a scribble from some kid that actually came and looked at these homes. I probably bet that is just probably some kid that just scribbled on it. But anyway, we come over here and here is another closet. So that's the fifth bedroom and fifth closet. And I want to thank everyone for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure you thumbs up on this video. Follow our channel. Check out other channels below as well. I definitely appreciate it and appreciate your time watching all the way to the end. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.